Okay, we're at question 2A of the January 2018 CSEC Mathematics paper. It says, given that A asterisk, asterisk B means the square root of A plus 4B, where the positive root is taken, determine the value of 1 star or asterisk 2. All right. Let's look at this. First of all, what you have, a star b means the square root of a plus 4b. What is 1 star 2? No. a is first and a is in this position. So what you're going to do is put 1 here. b is second. The second one, just like 2, is the second one, the second number, and B is at this position. So right here, you're going to put 2. So what you have is the square root of, instead of writing A, write 1. 1 plus 4 times 2. So this is the square root of 1 plus, you do the multiplication first, 2 for 2 is 8. So this is the square root of 1 plus 8 is 9, which is 3. So the answer is 3. Okay, good. Now, part 2 says the, whether the operation star is commutative. Justify your answer. All right. Let's look at this and see how you might deal with this question let me come up here make a little more space now one way i'm looking at it right is to say a star b that's a Let me just get this thing right. Mm. A little technical issue here. Let me just make sure everything is all right. All right, good. So we are here. Good. Now, what we have is A star B is the square root of a plus 4b. At the same time, we could try and say b star a would be what? Well, you put b first, is the square root of b plus 4a. Now, addition is commutative. But the thing now is that is not that you switched around these <coughs> commutative means it doesn't matter which order you put the numbers it will work out just the same now is a plus 4b the same as b plus 4a let's see if you say the square root of a plus 4 b is equal to the square root of b plus 4a if you square both sides then a plus 4b is equal to b plus 4a all right now if you say subtract 4b from both sides you get a is equal to because 4b minus 4b, that would be gone. And this minus 4b, so it would be b minus 4b plus 4a when you rearrange them. Now, doing it this way, what you would get is b outside a bracket if you factorize b minus 4b 1 minus 4 
is equal to 4a running out of space let's continue up here so b minus 1 minus 4 is negative 3 so we this a let's put it here is equal to b times 1 minus 4 negative 3b right it should have been a plus plus 4a it doesn't seem so but let's try it just one wrong example will give it away I was just playing around with these figures but let us look at what happens if you try 1 star 2 and 2 star 1 right in exam you will just go straight ahead with this 1 star 2 is it equal to 2 star 1 if they are equal it doesn't mean that it's not commutative it, it doesn't mean that it's commutative I mean you could try another number 5 star 10 and 10 star 5 and it's different but if just one example shows that it is not commutative then you can come to that conclusion all right if 1 star 2 is equal to 2 star 1 and then if you try that and they're not equal then it's not commutative now 1 star 2 would be the square root of here it would be 1 plus 4 by 2 equals what about 2 star 1 you would put 2 here 2 first plus 4 by 1 let's check this out and see what happens this is the square root of 1 plus 4 2 is 8 is equal to the square root of 2 plus 4 1 4 now this is this 1 plus 8 is 9 as we saw earlier up here is it equal to 4 and 2 6 clearly they are not equal because when you try when you find the square root of 9 you get 3 and 3 is not if you try 3 is equal to the square root of 6 it wouldn't work so 3 is not equal to the square root of 6 now the thing is if it was commutative then 1 star 2 would be the same as 2 star 1 right if it was commutative but it is not commutative what that mean it matters now which order you put them whether one star two or two star one it matters so it is not commutative if it was commutative it wouldn't matter and you would get the same answer but anyway enough of playing around with that let's go on to the next part of this question see what it says uh, ah 2b what 2b says here is that you should solve the inequality 3 minus 2x is greater than 5 let's see what happened 3 minus 2x is greater than 5 3 minus 2x is greater than 5 work it just like an equation alright if you say 3 minus 2x is greater than 5 3 minus 2x make a little space here is greater than 5 you want x greater than alone so get rid of the 3 and get rid of the 2 or you get rid of the 3 you subtract 3 from both sides so what you have is 3 minus 2x is greater than 5 if I put in a minus 3 on the left I must put in a minus 3 on the right as well 3 minus 3 is 0 so I have negative 2x is greater than what is 5 minus 3 is 2 alright so I got rid of the 3 how do I get rid of the 
Negative two now is a negative. Well, in this case, I would have to divide by negative two. So, this over negative two, and this over negative two. Now, guess what will happen? When you say negative two over negative two is greater than two over negative two. Once you divide or multiply an inequality by a negative, you must switch around the sign. So what you will have after you do this and you cancel down, all right? And you cancel down here. What you will have is x is less than two divided by negative two is negative one. Remember, you have to do that. You have to switch around the sign. All right. I could um review my videos on inequality for further explanation on that. So it's not x is greater than negative one. It's actually s. It is actually x is less than negative one. All right. So x is less than negative one is the answer here. Now let's see what else. This will be saying represent the answer in B1 on the number line below this number line. All right, this is x is less than negative 1. So I identify negative 1, put a line above it, it's less than. So I draw a circle and don't shade it. If it had said less than or equal to, then I would shade the circle because negative 1 would be included. But x is actually less than negative 1. So you go this way. Alright? So x is less than negative 1. Now, just in case you're not entirely clear as to the correctness of this, Remember, this is saying 3 minus 2x is greater than 5. And let's test it out. I say x is less than negative 1. Negative 1 is not included. Let's try 3 minus 2 times. Let me separate it to the line. Let's just test it. Play, play around with it. You wouldn't really have a time in the exam to be playing around like this, but it would be interesting to look at it. Now, neg negative 1. If I make x negative 1, this would be my negative x is greater than 5. Now, 3 minus 2 by negative 1 is negative 2 is greater than 5. 3 minus negative 2 means the same as 3 plus 2. But you cannot say 5 is greater than 5. So that would be wrong. So you see, negative 1 is not included. Now, if I try with a number over here, let's try make x 4. Make x equal 4. Let's see what happens. 3 minus 2 by 4 is greater than 5. 3 minus 8 is greater than 5. But negative 5 is not greater than 5. It's less than 5. So it has to be somewhere over here. You could try that, all right? But anyway, that would be what you do with quest that question. What we'll do next time is try 2C and see how 2C works out. So we'll do that next time.